guys, it's Christine Ibarra. I will tell you what I do and what I love to help cover up, you know, all of my imperfections and my under eye circles and all that stuff. So check this out. First things first, you need to um, cleanse your face morning and night, right? We all know that. Um, but after you cleanse your face, you want to replenish the, the moisture in your face. So I love um, using my colloidal silver after I cleanse as a toner. This just helps get off all the excess dirt and um, dead skin cells, okay? And then, I'm telling you this because it's so important to start from the skin and then, and then the makeup, right? And then I love, 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 where did I put it? One Drop Wonder and Skin Therapist Moisturizer, okay? I use like two drops of this and I mix it with like one to two pumps of the Skin Therapist and this right here is like magic. This one product right here has been solely responsible, I believe, for uh, the major improvement in my skin. So that's the whole face. I don't put that those two products under my eyes because I actually use Sotox. Sotox is, um, what it does is it lightens, brightens, and tightens, okay? So um, it's not necessarily for the whole face. However, some people can use this on their entire face. Um, I, when I first started with Limelight, I used this all over my face and I wasn't sure if it was making me break out or if something else was making me break out. You know, that's like really hard to determine, but um, I did hear that if you have acne prone skin, then you might break out from using Sotox all over. So I use it here and then like my crow's feet area right here in the morning. Now we do have Eye Aspire, which is an eye serum. And um, I use that every single night. The reason why I use that at night and this in the AM is because the Eye Aspire doesn't do very well with makeup on top of it. So if I'm not going anywhere and I'm just doing a skincare day, I will use the Eye Aspire in the AM and PM. But if I'm gonna put makeup on, I like to use the Sotox because it works well with makeup on top of it. Okay, so skincare, check. Next step is a primer, okay? This primer is called um, First Base Makeup Primer uh, Oil-Free Mist, but this also has like moisturizing properties in it for your skin. So after I moisturize, I spray my face with the primer. Sometimes I'll do an additional primer and sometimes I won't. The tool that I use for my under eye circles is just a regular, flat concealer brush. Now I did have somebody PM me the other day that um, they were using a fluffy brush, something like this, and it wasn't working out too well. You want to use a flat brush because it's like you're applying cream, like, like a waxy cream. You don't wanna do anything with the fluffy brush unless it's like powder. Like this is perfect for powder. So what we're gonna do is I am going to use concealer number three. Now, if you have like blue purple circles, you want to use a concealer that has a pink undertone, but just a little bit of a pink undertone. So that's concealer number three. Um, you see concealer number one right here is like super yellow. This is to hide redness. Like I love to mix this in my foundation because my face gets so red um, or like spot you know, red spots. But this one right here, concealer number three for me. So I'm gonna cover up one of my eyes and they're both equally bad. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna paint this on. Now you can also use your finger and just rub it directly into the pan and warm it up and then apply it with your finger and then blend out with the blending bud. But I really like this method. I don't use too much product um, and it's really easy. It goes on easy. And then if I have a wing, I can just take this brush and clean it up like that. Um, and so I like that. So you wanna go down here, not just covering the swoop, but you wanna go down and up in an upside down triangle. 
check that out. It may be a pink undertone, but it still covers up red really well. Um, okay, so then the next thing I do is I use my blender bowl to blend. Here it is. Because I don't want this line right here, but normally I have foundation on already. So I'm going to soften up the line. Okay, and then I just kind of dab it here just to make sure that everything is spread out evenly okay and then sometimes if I'm wearing eye makeup I can't really use the blender bowl because it's bigger but I use the corner to get in here and make sure I don't have a, a line right there okay so just the concealer by itself is fantastic however the duo of the concealer and the translucent perfect press powder this is where the line goes away this is the magic so you can use like a little blending bud or you know your regular size blenderful it doesn't matter uh, but I like to use the little guy here he's dry you don't have to get it wet and I just like to set the concealer looking up because you don't want to set it when you're looking straight forward or down because then you'll have creases. So I set the concealer with the powder all the way to here. Are you guys seeing this? This is like airbrushing. This is a translucent color. This is one color and it's good for all skin tones. Are you seeing this? It's crazy. Look at that. It this line just disappeared. Oh my goodness, I love it. I don't get sick of this at all. Not one single bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, the other thing about this powder too. Um, compared to other setting powders this one doesn't have like a flashback when you get your picture taken so you won't have like a white face like a white opaque matte face in your pictures um, that's all of our products are meant for um, like cinema and photography so I'm just saying if you have any questions or if you need help choosing a color feel free to message me and I will talk to you guys later bye